All right, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial, pretty simple, how to make thumbnails. Uh, I know there's some of you YouTubers out there who like to do textures and stuff, but hey, maybe you don't even exactly know how to do your thumbnail right. So it's gonna be real simple, nothing complex, but you know, it's gonna do the job. And if you've already seen the thumbnail to the video, then you know what we're gonna make. So that kind of saves time for me, making the thumbnail for the video that I'm currently recording while I'm making the thumbnail. But anyway, let's get into it. So every YouTube thumbnail needs to be 1280 by 720. That's just the base resolution. So here in GIMP, we're gonna go ahead and new, and we're just gonna do 1280 by 720. All right, we got our canvas here. So first thing on most thumbnails that I like to do personally is a border. So let's go ahead and make a new layer. Right click, new layer, and call it whatever you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the paintbrush tool. I'm gonna get a color that I like. We're gonna rock with this one. Uh, find a size you want, cause we are doing like a regular border here. I think 20 should be all right. Yeah, we'll do 20 pixels on the regular square brush. You can see there's a lot of different brushes, but we'll just stick with the third one here. All right. And then we'll just come in, make sure you're on that new layer you just made. Get the corner of it. If you get it to where it's translucent like that, you can just double click a bunch. You know what I mean? And you'll be fine. Or you could just make sure it's perfectly lined up on the edge. Either way, doesn't matter. Click in there again, scroll out, scroll to this corner, hold shift, boom. And then do that thing. And then you got a whole line. And then just do this around the edges. Just shift click it. You see what I mean? Just shift click it around the edge and you'll be good. All right, once you get the uh, border completely done, something we can do to give it a little bit more of, I don't know, pop. We can make sure that we're on that layer that we just did. Go to tools or filters actually, light and shadow. And let's go to the drop shadow. And then you can already see where I'm going here. So let's go ahead and center it. That means bringing X and Y to zero. And then we're gonna play with the opacity. And you can see where that shadow's at. You can play with the grow radius. You can play with the blur radius. But we kind of want it for a thumbnail. We kind of want to make it like a little presentation. So we just want a little bit. We'll bring the opacity down. We just want a little bit of shadow. Then it'll look good enough. All right, let's go back to our background. And whatever color or pattern you're using. Doesn't really matter. I need to find my original color codes. But you would just go back to the original and paintbrush that shit. And the shadow stays there so it doesn't change because we're manipulating with the layers you could just uh you know paint bucket the background if you wanted to but I actually have a custom background i want to use so i'm going to insert that real quick but you can do whatever you want just make sure it's under the border layer you just made so the shadow effect is still relevant all right and then i got that background in there and you must have whatever you put in so next would be the words right or pictures let's say we wanted a cool little picture that we had from in game or something so you would download it you would edit the photo before you brought it in so you would take it into a tab like over to this one right and then edit it or whatever and then drag it over here once it's ready to put into the thumbnail and uh we'll jump into that we'll find the little gimp symbol right we'll find our little gimp guy and put him in here all right so this is what we're going to do we're just going to take this gimp guy it has no background so we don't have to do that and then we're going to go back down into here Go back to our downloads, drag him in here. Bring him up to the top layer, right click, layer, or tools, my bad, transform, scale. And we're gonna bring it down, do whatever size you want. I'm gonna put it in the corner, right over here. And I think this will be a good size. I'm gonna kinda make where the edges are the same distance away from the border. And that'll be good enough. And then I just want to play with it a little bit so we can go back to drop shadow and that just makes it look perfect. You know, that's fine. We'll leave it there. If you wanted to, you could go to colors, hue and saturation, and you can sit here and change individual colors on the sprite. Um, this is actually not a good example of that, but well, there you go. But usually most like real photos, you can take each color and just change everything with it. It's awesome. So you should experiment with that. You can download fonts and install them onto Windows. I have a video on that if you don't know how to do that. It's legit like two minutes long, so go watch it. If you don't know how to do it, easy as fuck. So next thing is to go ahead and get the words. 
and I already have uh, fonts that I like to use so we're gonna jump in here with this uh, we'll come in here with some white text real quick we'll kind of break up the text a little bit so it's not hundred percent the same but when you're using different fonts you either want to make sure that both font families contrast very well or it's all in the same font family and it's just a little different like italic versions fat italic version you know stuff like that but either way we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna say how to and then that's the only words we're gonna use this font on right so we're gonna go ahead and make this big uh, we'll bring the spacing down a little bit between the letters we'll leave it some because we are gonna make a border on this so 16 will be fine and we'll bring it down to 170 and then make sure your move mode is on this and we'll put this up here in the corner so how to catches the eye first or it should hopefully <laughs> and then next you just want to get all your text down before you make any effects on them so let's just get the text laid out before we worry about drop shadows and outlines and all that good stuff so go ahead and how to make thumbnails it's a video name right so you've already seen the thumbnail and what it's going to look like but i don't know what it looks like right now but you do and that's kind of weird actually if you think about it um okay so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get another one in here. I'm not sure exactly which one I want. We'll just go with this one. All right, so how to make thumbnails. And then we're going to bring this up. We'll do 120, I think that'll look just fine. And we'll bring it back into frame here. And then we're gonna reduce the spacing. seven that'll be fine and then i kind of want to slide this up under our big font and i think this would be a good label the way it's laid out we'll have to do something a little different in the corner we'll figure it out so how to make thumbnails so i think from here we can actually change the color of the bottom so how to make thumbnails let's actually make that our blue right so boom that looks a little better maybe the background needs to be a little brighter to make this blue contrast better but i think it looks fine as it is so how to filter we'll give it a drop shadow and i have presets for stuff like this so subheading boom and then thumbnail same thing it already looks pretty popping and you could put another drop shadow behind it if you really wanted to so I'm probably actually going to do that just to add to it a little bit. And I just want to bring it back to the center. Uh, for this second, I'm going to bring the saturation up, bring the blur radius all the way down. I'm going to unlink these two so that X and Y can move separate from each other. And I'm going to move Y down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring the opacity back down. So we can see through it a little bit. And then boom, that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to save this as a preset. So to do that, actually go plus button and then name it and then boom. So I'm going to call it uh, drop shadow. Check. And then, you know, you might remember what it is. You might not. So just look at it and you can always, you know, control Z. And then we'll do the same thing down here. Filter the feet. We're good to go, bro. So let's see what else did we want. How to make thumbnails. Okay. So we want something else because we still have the space to fill up. So we'll just say quick and easy. Yep, that's what we're gonna do because that's the one that I usually put. And we'll put it in black. Then I'm actually gonna bring it up a little bit. About 60. And then We'll kind of center it with the word thumbnails and bring it down with the same spacing here. You know, it's nothing crazy because this is legit just showing you how to make thumbnails. Uh, the, this thumbnail doesn't have a topic other than that and there's not much to put in here. So, you know, that's the basic concept. But if we go through and look at my actual thumbnails that I've made. Then you're going to see like. It's the same concept now if we were doing this video we would have been able to put these guys in here but you see it's the same thing we're just putting the people cut out with 
no background it's obviously screenshots from in game and then we're putting drop shadows behind them to make them pop out a little bit more so it just it looks awesome it's easy to do and quick and easy video if you had like a specific question regarding thumbnails that i didn't address in this video just let me know down below and i'll be sure to answer that for you other than that i believe that's it so i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy